So as a lot of you may know, the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer came out a couple days ago. Uh, I watched it yesterday in the morning, and I thought it was like something completely different. I was really digging the David Bowie song in the beginning, but that did not save the trailer, if you ask me. Uh, I showed it to my friends after we saw a movie yesterday, The Green Room. If you, if you haven't seen The Green Room, go see it. But I showed it to my friends when we got home from the movies, and he said some pretty interesting things. I was like, oh wow, they keep going into the future, they're so shitty. And he brought up a really good point. He said, a lot of people, including myself, were complaining about how Call of Duty wasn't changing for a while. And now that they finally changed it a lot, we're complaining about how it isn't the old Call of Duty. We're hashtagging bring back the old Call of Duty when just a couple years ago we were complaining that Call of Duty has been the same for years. It's a really good point that he brought up, and it made me change a lot of my thoughts about this trailer. It doesn't save it from it being really shitty. I mean, it looks great. <laughs> I mean, the... The level design looks inspired from some like Mass Effect kind of stuff, stuff. But seeing Saturn was pretty cool. Dave Bowie was pretty cool. The ending was the best part, you know, when it was over, and they showed MW1 remastered, which is the only reason why I'm gonna get Infinite Warfare. But I thought I'd not really rant, just get my thoughts on Infinite Warfare as a whole. Um, there isn't a lot really to say. <laughs> I mean, I don't like it. I don't like the new school Call of Duty. I want old Call of Duty back. As hypocritical as it sounds, I want the old Call of Duty community back. I don't care how toxic or how many little kids said they fucked my mom. I just I want the old Call of Duty back. I loved Black Ops 1 multiplayer and Black o or an NW3 multiplayer. Mostly Black Ops 1. I liked playing Search and Destroy on Grid with my Silent Galil and my uh, three perks being Ghost, Sleight of Hand, Hacker. I had a Silencer on my Galil. If I was running Warlord, I'd do Dual Mag, and it was some fun as shit. And I had a lot of friends to play with back then. I met a lot of friends on Call of Duty multiplayer and Zombies. Zombies was really fun. Kino Zero Totem was probably the. Or. Kino Zero Totem? I think it was Kino Zero Totem. was my favorite Call of Duty map ever. Mostly because I spent so much time on it, and it was so easy. And even Black, Up, Black Ops 1's multiplayer was really good. Alex Mason is a great protagonist, probably one of the best out of any protagonist. Mostly because he talked and he had. I liked, always liked his voice actor, the guy from Avatar. I always liked him. He shouldn't. He seems a little monotone, but I've always liked him as an actor. He's always in these really cool roles. But back on Infinity or Infinite Warfare, uh, it looks, it looks cool from what I've seen. I think they should have just not called it Call of Duty. They would have just called it Infinite War, the spiritual successor to Call of Duty, and it's different and it's new. It's like Titanfall. Maybe it would have gotten better praise. Maybe the I could have clapped my hands to Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Raven, Sledgehammer, and Activision for making a game that's not Call of Duty every other year. Just Infinite War, number one, the start of it all. You know, just not Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. I'm not going to play it. I'm going to play MW1. I just, I hope, which I know they're not going to, but I can at least hope that they're going to make Modern Warfare 1 its own thing, or maybe even Black Ops 1 its own thing for remaster on xbox one ps4 and pc they're not going to do it but i can hope as an old school call of duty fan not so much a new school fan i stopped playing call of duty like religiously after black ops 2 came out hated ghost advanced warfare was okay black ops 3 was okay to me it was definitely the best in years but it's just okay to me it's not i feel like it's not grounded enough people were jumping everywhere sliding using stupid perks and shit and ghost was don't even get me started with ghost that game was terrible everyone even critics will Agree with me on that. That game was fucking awful. It was a terrible Call of Duty, shitty campaign, shitty uh, zombie style mode, and a shitty uh, uh, multiplayer. It's just a bad game. Most I don't even know a single person that likes Call of Duty Ghosts. But Infinite Warfare, interesting. They definitely took the whole change Call of Duty or make Call of Duty different out of context and took it into space. It's not. It's not even Call of Duty at this point. It's like what they did with Saints Row. It's it's not even, like, with Saints Row 2 is like this gangster-style game, and now with Saints Row 4, you got being the president and, uh, like, having superpowers and going to the Matrix. It's not, even, it's not even Saints Row anymore. It's called something else. And just like Call of Duty isn't even Call of Duty anymore. It's completely something else. I know, like, with other Call of Duties, like Advanced Warfare, they, a lot of technology that they had in the game was being developed, like, in recent time. I think mostly in, in Black Ops 2, it was like that. But I liked old school Call of Duties. I liked MW2 or MW1, 2, 3, Black Ops 1, not really Black Ops 2. And those are like my favorite Call of Duties. I even liked uh, Call of Duty 3. You know, those are some of my favorite Call of Duties and that's never going to change. 
And I'm never going to get those old Call of Duties back. I'm never going to get those memories back anymore because no one even plays on those communities anymore. It's over. I mean, I can just remember the times I played Call of Duty religiously and just... Now I play fucking League of Legends religiously. But at least League of Legends is, an, is not inspiring to be something that it's not. Call of Duty is not space battles. It's you're on the ground, you're a soldier, you're shooting at other soldiers, you're throwing your grenade, you're catching grenades and throwing them back and you're getting perks and zombies and everything else maybe it is an over top over the top arcade shooter but it was our over the top arcade shooter until you know everybody got their holes in call of duty and it became this huge phenomenon that's one of the reasons why i started playing call of duty because everybody else was i wasn't really playing the originals before everybody else but damn was call of duty black ops one fun and so was modern Warfare three and i still have my copies up there there they're not my like original copies but i mean they're copies but I just wanted to give my thoughts on Infinite Warfare. It just I don't think it's gonna be good. I mean it might. But it's probably not. But, you know, it might. But it's probably not. And I just wanted to give my thoughts and ramble really quick. Not rant, because I don't hate Call of Duty, I just think they're going in the wrong direction. I'm still gonna play it, just I'm not really gonna like it. But there's my thoughts on Infinite Warfare. If you were any of you were wondering what my thoughts on it would be, everyone else is giving their thoughts and I threw my two cents into the hat. Hope you all enjoyed it. My name is Dutch and I'm signing off. Be smart, be AO, and I will see you all in my next video.